Welcome back to Living Local. I have known our next guests for more than 20 years and their success has never been a surprise. And with their success, well, it was never if and always when. And with their latest film, 65, starring Adam Driver, audiences are witnessing yet another when moment. And joining us in the studio are Quad City natives and filmmakers Scott Beck and Brian Woods. Dudes, yeah. thanks for being <laughs> Great here. Great to see you, Tristan. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tristan. this is so rad. You're yeah. making me look so cool in front of everybody <laughs> I work with. So this is awesome. Uh, so 65 opened this past weekend. Yeah. And that's so rad yeah. to have a movie open like nationwide like that. And to, to be there for a screening in the theater where you guys grew up watching yeah. movies has to mm -hmm. be pretty cool, right? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, Brian and I grew up seeing movies at the at the theater <laughs> on 53rd and in, in Davenport poor and it felt like that was our film school like that's where yeah. we go on friday and saturday nights and, and see <laughs> movies like uh like road to perdition by max allen collins you know <laughs> yeah. and uh and see the jurassic world movies like it just really is our uh kind of a, a bit of a homecoming for this one so. yeah brian how did it feel for you man unbelievable i mean scott and i have been making movies together since we were 11 mm -hmm. so and <laughs> and some of our earliest movies were with dinosaur action figures so to be able to bring back a big budget dinosaur movie to our hometown is very surreal and, and full circle. Yeah, let's talk about that premise a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 when I first heard about it, I was like, that's the most brilliant idea I've ever heard. <laughs> and why didn't anybody come up with that before? Yeah. So how did you guys land upon, you know, success? Yeah, well, uh, thank you for calling it brilliant, because sometimes <laughs> it just seems absurd. But I think it was like our, our desire um, to make a dinosaur movie, uh -huh. um, which is a bit audacious, because we, we were joking that it feels like Spielberg it always has the monopoly over the dinosaur picture these days. And, um, and we were trying to figure out, like, not how do you bring dinosaurs into the present the way Michael Crichton mm -hmm. and, and Spielberg had, but how do you land somebody in the past? So the idea yeah. of, you know, kind of like this Star Wars-esque, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, uh -huh. you know, finding a character like that with Adam Driver's character crash landing on what seems to be a mysterious planet populated by aliens, <laughs> but turns out we, the audience, know it's 65 million years ago and they're yeah. dinosaurs. So. That's pretty great. And you got Kylo Ren to star in it. <laughs> like, the Adam Driver, that's yeah. amazing. How did he come into the picture? Mm -hmm. I mean, Adam's long been one of our favorite actors. He's one of the absolute um, best artists of, of, of his generation. And uh, he was top of, top of our mind for this mm -hmm. movie. We wanted an unconventional um, lead, uh, somebody with um, tremendous acting chops. The movie's very uh, di dialogue-free. It's, <laughs> it's all about what you don't say. And, um, and he's such a terrific physical performer and, and how he can, um, you know, basically say everything with just a look is, is kind of yeah. the most important special effect in the movie. I love that you were like, you know who I want in this movie? Adam Driver. And you got him. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> that's pretty rad. Yeah. Uh, and this is very special effects heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's something new for you guys, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this by far is like uh, the largest scale film we've worked on. The amount of visual effects in it for us was, was staggering. But yeah. there's a degree at which um, it feels like we're making movies the same way when we were 11 you know it's planning it out you, you draw little <laughs> yeah. pictures and storyboards you hand that to your friends back then when you're 11 but now like collaborators that mm -hmm. that are um, are incredibly gifted and have a, a huge resume and then together as a team you make that happen so, yeah you know. and that what a team you had too mm -hmm. Let's yeah, just yeah. Talk, like Sam Raimi's producing Sam Raimi producing um, our costume designer was Michael Kaplan who did Blade Runner uh, <laughs> Fight Club um, the game our production designer Kevin Ishioka worked on Avatar <laughs> um, and Tron, and, and we were so lucky with yeah. the team that came together for this. Um, we were pinching ourselves every day, and, and also just like part of the fun of making movies for us is just working with people who have worked on all of our favorite movies so we can just yeah. ask them stories, basically. Mm -hmm. Ask right. them questions and, and get stories about all the, all the experiences they had. That's yeah, really yeah. Really it's fun. kind of insane that mm -hmm. you guys are the level that you are. I mean, I'm not surprised, yeah. of course. I knew that when we were 18 that this was going to happen to you. Um, so let's let's talk about what's next. I mean, you can't talk a lot about it, but the mm -hmm. Boogeyman's coming out in June. Yeah. So um, we we had written and produced a adaptation of a short story that Stephen King wrote called The Boogeyman in his great collection of, of stories, Night Shift. And we took that 11 page short story and, and turned it into a feature film for uh, 20th Century Studios and, and Disney. So it's Disney's The Boogeyman. <laughs> That'll be coming out um, in, in June. And uh, beyond that, we're just setting our sights on a ton of other projects we can't announce quite yet, but yeah. very much, um, you know, 
trying to churn out uh, movies that to us they're not based on necessarily anything mm -hmm. else and and we just love the idea of like original films where uh, sure. it's it's hard to see within yeah. the landscape of, of sequels these days so yeah and the haunt sequel I heard you guys <laughs> drop news about that yes and I'm gonna yeah. pitch something to you right now yeah absolutely <laughs> okay. yeah, I want to pitch yeah. this to you yeah. on television yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to be the first person that dies in the haunt sequel. Okay. So, You're all right, hired. gauntlet is thrown. Yeah, you, you yeah. have my agent. All right, yes. uh, I'll get you in touch. Um, so, uh, I'm only half kidding, by the way. Yes, no, we, I really we think, get it. Yeah, we'll find a way. You know, a talk we'll show a host way. dying in the early in the film, it would be a I good love thing. it. I think it's yeah. great. Yeah. So, so I have to ask you guys. You know, you guys are, uh, you've reached this level of success, and I know there's a lot of filmmakers out there that it, you know, are wanting to do kind of the same thing. And your road hasn't mm -hmm. been easy. I mean, you've been mm -hmm. at this for a long time. Yeah. Um, you know, what advice do you guys have for somebody that's out there trying to break into this crazy industry? I think um, first and foremost, embrace the failures. Like every time you fall on your face, like it's another yeah. chance to pick yourself up and, and learn from that. Um, we, we also always say like, look at the own opportunities in your own backyard. Like growing yeah. up here in the Quad Cities, you're 1600 miles away from Los Angeles, but there's so many talented people around the area and you're able to tap into those resources yeah. and, and make your dreams really come alive if, if you find the right story that you can tell. Yeah, I mean, when we were younger making movies locally, like we got to work with so many terrific actors and including yourself uh, um, and, and a, a brilliant crew, people people and and they you know we were it, it was just great to be around an art uh, community of artists that everyone's helping each other and um, there's just so much talent in the state we've seen it over and over and over again so mm -hmm. I think um, if you're if you're someone um, locally who wants to make films or whatever your dream is yeah. I mean there's many many arts to pursue um, um, you know uh, knock on your neighbor's door because there's, there's a lot of brilliant <laughs> yeah. people around here yeah well guys I, I always am inspired by everything that you guys do and uh, I'm very lucky to know you so thanks so oh, much same, for coming same. in uh, yeah. we really That's appreciate it no, thank you. Uh, so for more information you can check out Beckwoods.com and please go see 65 on the big screen it's important to support these kind of movies we'll have all these details posted at our quad cities more